Welcome back to another video. In the previous video, I showed you how to add a customer to the customer module, a credit customer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to view the customer record and to edit that record. So I have two customers on the screen here. You can see their credit limits, the contact names, the name of the customer, the customer account reference. All you need to do is double click on a customer and you'll bring up their customer record. So here we go, customer record, X, Y, Z computers. The information that we entered about the customer shows on this screen. You can simply edit it. Let's say they changed their telephone number. All you need to do is put in the new number like that click save and the customer record will be updated if i now double click on the customer again the customer record appears and you can see there's a new number and you can do that with all the information on this screen so let's say they now have a website and they didn't have one before so i've now entered that in click save and that's all done. You can also highlight the customer and use the edit button up here. It brings up the customer record. It's the same thing, um, just a different way of doing it. You can edit defaults too. We have the default nominal code, the default tax code, and there's some other defaults you can enter. There's a credit control feature in this customer record. You can edit the uh, credit limit and some other credit terms etc you can also make some notes here about the customer so if you make notes when you chase customers for payments if you make credit control notes you can actually do that on the customer record here in this memo section bank details and then there's a more extensive memo just here so that's how you edit customers. Let's do the same with ABC computers or ABC custom, sorry. I can double click or I can highlight the customer and click edit. The customer record appears. Let's say they've changed from one, two, three, easy to one, two, four. Save. And that's all updated. Very straightforward and simple stuff. In the next video, I will start on posting and recording customer invoices on Sage. Thank you for watching.